In this open educational resource, we're going to look at the patterns of inheritance for sickle cell disease and consider three different scenarios um, for the purpose of explaining how genes can be inherited. So this open educational resource will help you explore how the genetic condition sickle cell anemia can be inherited. You'll see how the parents can be carriers of the sickle gene and pass this status to their offspring. You'll begin to understand some terminology and the idea of genetic phenotype and genotype and how these are determined by the passing of genes from parents to offspring. Finally, by looking at the inheritance patterns, you'll start to be able to calculate the chances of the offspring in acquiring certain genetic traits. So here's just some terminology to get you started. When we talk about genetic phenotype, these are the visible properties of that genetic inheritance. So someone with the phenotype that results in sickle cell disease, the patients will have various clinical manifestations of that disease um, associated with mainly anemia and problems linked to that. So the genotype is different and that's the genetic information behind the scenes. That's the terminology that we can use to express um, whether someone is healthy or has acquired a genetic trait. When we talk about someone being a carrier of a gene, this is someone who maybe doesn't have the chronic illness but actually might have mild symptoms but they can still pass on that gene to their children and this person is a carrier of, of that condition. We really are dealing with the haemoglobin molecule here, which is the molecule in red blood cells that carries out oxygen for us. And in healthy adults, the vast majority of that haemoglobin is haemoglobin A, um, abbreviated to HbA. I mean, that does stand for adult haemoglobin, but it represents the, the A molecule. And there are many, many variants of haemoglobins. And Wikipedia talks about this really well, so do go and look at that. So haemoglobin A is the healthy, common adult default form of molecule. Haemoglobin S, HBS, is found in people with sickle cell disease. Um, one of the other variants we'll look at in this, in this resource is HBC, which is associated with mild anemia. And not all the variants are associated with illness. So in the first scenario, we're going to consider... The mother is a carrier for the sickle cell gene and the father has normal adult haemoglobin. So we might depict it like this. So in this scenario the mother is a carrier of the sickle cell gene and you can see her genotype illustrated there with the abbreviation A in that she has one normal haemoglobin gene and S meaning she is carrying the sickle cell trait also. If, when we look at the father, he has normal adult haemoglobin, so his genotype is expressed as AA. So what are the possible outcomes should this couple have children? Well, one of the outcomes is that the baby inherits the S gene from the mother and, of course, is only going to inherit a normal, healthy A gene from the father. And a second outcome um, when you consider that there are two healthy options from the father, we, we'll end up with an infant with the same genotype, so the same characteristic potentially as baby one, inheriting the sickle cell gene from the mother and the haemoglobin A from the father. So what other combinations could we get? We, we, we then could see the inheritance of the, the healthy haemoglobin A gene from the mother combining with one of the healthy genes from the father. So this baby will be of the genotype AA and will be, will be having normal healthy haemoglobin. And then the same can happen again. So the healthy haemoglobin A gene from the mother can combine with either of those genes from the father. So in summary, what we can have um, is a 50-50 chance of any infant being a carrier also of the sickle cell and we, we will describe this infant as having the sickle cell trait so they will have the genotype um, AS and they may well be absolutely healthy um, and show no symptoms but they actually might also show mild signs of anemia but there's also a 50-50 chance of a totally healthy 
infant. So in the second scenario, we're now considering both parents having sickle cell trait, so having the genotype AS. So the mother here is the carrier of sickle cell, so the genotype is AS, and the same this time goes for the father. So what are the four likely outcomes for any infants? Well, first of all, the healthy haemoglobin A gene could be inherited from either parent, so this could result with a child with um, normal genotype, so normal healthy haemoglobin AA characteristic. But we might also see the healthy gene from the mother combining with the sickle cell gene from the father, so giving a child with the same genotype as both parents being potentially a carrier of sickle cell. And again, we might see this combination, so the alternate genes this time from the mum and dad, but also resulting in that same carrier genotype, so presenting with the genotype of haemoglobin AS. But we've got a fourth outcome this time, so you imagine if the infant inherits both those sickle cell genes from the mum and the dad, then their genotype's going to be SS, and this will actually encode and express as full-blown sickle cell disease and the infant may well suffer from um, some of the anemias and and um, clinical presentations resulting in sickle cell. So this time there's only a one in four chance of a healthy um, offspring with the genotype AA. Um, there's a 50-50 chance of any offspring being a carrier of the sickle cell trait and there's a one in four chance of the child having sickle cell anemia with the genotype SS. In this final scenario we're going to consider something slightly different where each parent has a different variant of the haemoglobin gene. So adult haemoglobin A of course is the most common um, an adult form of the haemoglobin molecule. We've already discussed the S um, molecule, which is the sickle cell molecule, but there are many variants and haemoglobin C is another illustrative example. So what happens this time when we have a mother with the genotype AC and the father with the genotype, he's a carrier of the sickle cell, so his genotype is AS. So what are the possible combinations for the any any potential offspring here. So first of all, the offspring might inherit healthy haemoglobin A from the mum and dad, so they'll have the genotype AA. A second scenario might be that the offspring inherits the haemoglobin A from the mum, but this time the, the sickle cell gene from the father and he will be he or she will be like the father and be be a carrier of that sickle cell gene with the genotype AS. So what's a third outcome potentially? Well, this time the child might inherit the C um, gene from the mother and the healthy one from the dad. This child would be a carrier of haemoglobin C, so have the genotype AC. And there's a fourth potential outcome here where actually the offspring unfortunately inherits the C and the S from the parent, so their genotype will be CS and like sickle cell di disease, a child with a haemoglobin C or SC disorder may manifest with some clinical problems. So overall then, if we look at the mathematics, there's a one in four chance of those offspring from those parents in, in having any of these different outcomes. There's only a one in four chance of that child not inheriting any of the S or C genes there's um, a one in four chance of it being a carrier of the S gene or being a carrier of the C gene. But also there's a one in four chance of that child having haemoglobin SC disorder. So I hope you found that resource useful. If you'd like to find more open education resources on the topic of sickle cell disease, do visit our Scooter Project webpage. Um, which is a project run by De Montfort University in the UK and releases a whole manner of different educational materials on the topic of sickle cell disease.